Let's return now to where we began the show tonight with revelations the Czech Republic will soon launch efforts to extradite convicted drug smuggler and permanent resident Karel Schrubeck. It's the latest twist in a messy controversy for which the blame is being sheeted in all directions. The current immigration minister, Ian Lees Galloway, says he was only acting on the information he had when he granted residency, but has since announced he will reconsider his decision and has launched an inquiry. Meanwhile, the former immigration minister, Michael Woodhouse is laying the blame firmly on the minister and he joins me now. Mr Woodhouse, what, what more information do you have about Mr Shrewbeck? Oh well I've got a little bit more information and that will be um, uh, made apparent in the passage of time but the, the point really is that why, there was why not more now, than though? enough... Sorry to interrupt well, but why think... not now? If you're concerned about public interest in this case why not put it all out there? Well, it takes some time to, to verify sources and, and make sure that we've got our, um, our understanding right. It doesn't take that long, frankly. Um, a few days has been enough to gather a great deal of information. And frankly, the minister had more than enough information to deport him last month when he had the opportunity. The investigation is simply a, a, a cover for Lise Galloway to be able to find a reason to change his mind. He should have made a better decision right from the get-go. But didn't all three former national immigration ministers have all the information they too needed to get rid of this guy? No, the file never came before any national minister. The immigration New Zealand was very clear about that yesterday. At the time where he became liable for deportation, he was still subject to at least two judicial processes. One where he was discharged without conviction on... Um, immigration fraud and then of course um, found not guilty on aggravated robbery charges on a technicality and then convicted of drug smuggling charges. It's really important that process is completed before deportation liability is considered. The first minister that saw this file was Lise Galloway. But what about when he was jailed on your watch in 2016? Did you red flag him then? Well a file would have been prepared for pre uh, presentation before the minister. Sometimes that can take months, even um, years. Uh, the, the first opportunity that Immigration New Zealand had to present the data was this year, and that was Ian Lees Galloway. So in terms of these revelations that he had permission to return to Europe while he was on bail, do you know that he actually went to the Czech Republic? I have information that he has, but it hasn't been verified yet. What I do know is that he certainly sought to do that, he sought a variation of his bail conditions. So whether or not he went, he didn't think his uh, health or life would be in danger if he did, otherwise he wouldn't have sought the bail condition variation that, that was considered by the High Court. Did, did, Im, did, immigration, um, did immigration New Zealand tell you that, that he, he has travelled somewhere in Europe? No, that's a court transcript that I have from the Auckland, uh, from the Auckland High Court. When he was on bail, pending charges of kidnapping and aggravated robbery, his own counsel asked for a variation of those bail conditions at least once, I think twice, in I understand order that, that. to the Czech Republic. Yeah, I understand that, and that is in the public domain. What I'm asking, does Immigration right. New Zealand have information or had information that he had travelled to Europe, and do you know if that information was passed to the minister pri prior to making the decision that he made? Well, you'll have to ask Immigration New Zealand that. But you have no knowledge of that? Well, I know he wanted to go back. I'm pretty sure he did. But you don't that know for sure that he went to the Czech Republic at this stage. You've got no evidence that he actually went to the Czech Republic, where this well, I, concern well, sure is around relevant. his safety. I, I'm not sure that's relevant to the question of his deportation. The minister had plenty of information. That is actually a, that is actually a side issue, because it wouldn't have changed my mind. He was still liable for deportation and should have gone home for his serious offending. Isn't it relevant, though, Mr Woodhouse, because... Obviously, there is some concern around Carol Schrubeck's safety. That is what is being hinted at, as to his safety if he were to return to the Czech Republic. So isn't it material if he did go home and entered the country? If that was a material concern, there were other pathways he could follow, including an asylum claim. The fact that he, does, that he didn't says to me that he knew he had little chance of success. His appeal to the minister was a Hail Mary request that was um, agreed to by a gullible and lazy minister that didn't look at the facts. Do you know what documents he travelled on? What identity he used? 
the... When he left, no, I, when he applied to go out of the country while on bail, you say that he potentially has gone into Europe. Do you know what identity he used to do that? I don't have the court uh, documents uh, with me. They're on the RNZ uh, website. You should, you'd probably be able to find the answer that quicker than I can. Right, but you don't know off your top of your head if he used a passport in the name of Shrewbeck to, to make that trip that you've alleged? No. But he's okay. one person. I mean, that, 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 if that was relevant to the minister, he would have the answer to that question. So you, you can't stack up anything that you're talking about here. You think he went back to Europe. You can't tell us if he went to the Czech Republic. You don't know whether he used an identity other than the uh, one that would have placed him in danger. You don't have any of those details. Lisa, I don't have to. What I'm telling you is that there was plenty of information there to make the right decision. He but, should have been sent home. But you want the minister to resign. So the expectation is that you have more pieces of the puzzle, that you're basing that call for a resignation on some solid information, but you don't seem to have Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Oh, I've got the information. Everybody knows that information now. It doesn't matter whether he travelled back to the Czech Republic or not. Whether he had a legitimate fear for his safety, frankly, he spent time in jail in, Australia, in uh, the Czech Republic, he spent time in jail in New Zealand. He was um, worried about what officials and police would do when he got home because he was wanted for a serious assault on a, on a police officer. No wonder he didn't want to go back. The point is, he should have. You have said, basically, that there, there's no need for an investigation. Just, just get rid of him. Are you still of that view? What I've said is the reason Lise Galloway is holding an investigation is to give himself cover to find enough information to change his decision. Because if he doesn't come up with a significant um, new piece of information, th his, his reversal is likely to be appealed in the courts and it will be a long and difficult process for, uh, for Lise Galloway to get what he should have done in the first place, which is the deportation order upheld. Do you think this man has a right to natural justice, though? You're putting all this information into the public domain, some of which hasn't been properly substantiated, um, and, you know, colouring public opinion towards him before he's even had the opportunity to reply to the allegations through formal channels. Well, you can feel free to defend him if you like, Lisa. What I know is he is a convicted criminal. I'm asking about the process. Who we want here in New Zealand. The process is fine. Actually, a lot of the information I've, came, uh, I've obtained has come in part from uh, from members of the media. So they're also able to get this information. It's not just me. But I, I come back to the fundamental point. None of that is relevant to the key question of should the minister have made a different decision when the information when the information that he did have was put before him? And the answer is, of course, he should have. What if all the information wasn't put before him? Well, certainly enough was uh, to to warrant the signing of the deportation order. Do you regret any decisions that you made as, as Immigration Minister? None spring to mind. So no mistakes on your watch? Well, it's not a question of mistakes, Lisa. The, every file is different. Everyone requires um, the, the careful collection of information and considered judgment about what is right in the circumstances. What I'm saying is this one doesn't even come close to um, a consideration of the suspension or cancellation of the deportation order. And what, what really worries me is if Emily Galloway thought this was a good decision, what other decisions has been, he been making over the last year to leave other people in this country that we don't yet know about? So you said you've got more information. Where, where are you being fed this information from? Is it anyone who has a vested interest on, on whether Corral Schrubeck is uh, forced to leave the country or not? Mark Mitchell and I have been overwhelmed by the number of people who have come forward without prompting to share information about uh, the, this character. And it's actually quite difficult to work through the various sources uh, and, and the veracity of them. But it, it, it's, it's not about feeding the story out. It's about the simple volume of information that's coming to us about how concerned people are that this fellow is being allowed to stay. But you've got more to come. Stand by. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. That is Michael Woodhouse, former Immigration Minister, National MP, calling for Ian Lees Galloway's resignation.